Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and today we are going to discuss about the most important transit of this year because Jupiter is going to transit into the sign of Sagittarius which is his Mool Tricon sign by 5th of November 2019 and it is going to be conjunct Ketu and Saturn. Saturn will also be there in Sagittarius till next year, January, January 2020. And Ketu will be there for quite some time in Sagittarius. And so today I have made a slide to explain the different lordships of Jupiter and the houses which Jupiter will aspect from his placement. All right. So you can uh, see this depending on your ascendant, your lagna, your rising sign. You can also check from your moon sign, which is typically known as Chandra Rashi. And the ascendant defines the physical self. So if you are interested to know how this will physically manifest in your life, then you can check from the ascendant. And if you want to know how at an inner level, at a mental level, this will affect you, then you can go to the moon sign okay and before you jump to your signs i would request you to watch the introduction part of this video including the nakshatras because this will help you to get a better understanding of how this transit will function for you in your chart okay so first of all the nakshatras that lie inside sagittarius there are three nakshatras as usual for every zodiac sign. Mula nakshatra, Purva Shada nakshatra and Uttara Shada nakshatra. And among these three, Mula and Purva Shada fall completely inside of Sagittarius and the first pada of Uttara Shada falls in Sagittarius. And Jupiter will enter Sagittarius which is Mula nakshatra first pada on 5th of November this year fifth or fourth depending on where you stay and from that time onwards you will start seeing the effects of Jupiter in Sagittarius. So if you are wondering what this will do in your chart well then you need to check the dashas okay. Vimshotri dasha ultimately defines what happens in your life. So for example you may be running a particular Mahadasha and Antar Dasha and a Pratyantar Dasha of certain planets which are sitting in particular houses in your chart and which are ruling particular houses in your chart. So they are the ones who will tell who, what is actually going to happen in your life. And then once we know what is going to happen, we need to check the transits. For example, the transit of Jupiter is very important if you want to see specific events that give us happiness in life in general so for example jupiter's transit is very essential if you want to get any recognition any prize name fame or especially getting married or having a, a birth of a child or finding a guru or getting diksha initiation or joining a spiritual community or starting a new project so anything that gives us glow in life that's where the transit of jupiter falls because jupiter is the uh, karaka for jiva jiv karak he's life so wherever jupiter transits and wherever he aspects it's like saying those aspects those houses those areas of your life become lively for that one year okay and depending on your ascendant this will vary and as usual, if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do subscribe to it. I have over 900 videos on astrology on almost every topic. So if you are interested, you can watch those videos and the different playlists. I also have for Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. And apart from that, I also offer consultations for any area of your life like marriage, relationships career or health or spirituality and if you want a consultation from me regarding your birth chart or if you are interested to know how this transit will behave for you 
then you can go down to the description section where you will find the link to my website to book a reading with me personally and as usual before every video as i say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so now what are these three nakshatras especially mula nakshatra purvashada and uttarashada also so mula nakshatra deals with foundations mula nakshatra is the nakshatra which forces us to check our base it tells the word sanskrit come uh, the word mula comes from that sanskrit word mool as they say na mool tattva which means the uh, fundamental composition the component so whenever any planet transits mula nakshatra the houses which it rules undergo reality check and we are forced to uproot certain things which do not work or did not work in the past and now we lay new foundation so whenever jupiter transits mula nakshatra when i start sharing this presentation you will be able to see the dates okay so then you will know when this transit is happening uh, till when and then when it is entering purvashada so once we lay the foundations then we start working on our foundations and our principles when any planet enters purvashada nakshatra okay and ultimately when a planet enters uttarashada nakshatra we declare victory because uttarashada is related to declaration of victory so whichever houses jupiter rules in your chart you will see that there is a thorough check up going on in the next uh, one year till the end of 2020 of course because these three nakshatras give you that flavor of introspection and then deliberation and then finally execution and at the end victory all right so in a way it is a very good time for us and also jupiter is uh, the mool trigon sign of jupiter itself is sagittarius and it is also the own sign pisces is also the own sign and the sign of exaltation is cancer so mool trigon is the second best position for any planet after exaltation and jupiter in certain degrees of sagittarius is under mula trigon which means sagittarius is the original sign of spirituality so now is the time that we can start taking to new spiritual practices we can go to some spiritual community we can try to find a guru we can also try our best to start reading the scriptures like the bhagavad gita or the ramayan the mahabharat shrimad bhagavatam or the bible or the quran whichever religious tradition you belong to and you are inspired by and if jupiter is associating with your trines then if you already have a guru then uh, you can also plan to get diksha from that guru okay so jupiter's transit is very important and during this transit it will also be conjunct saturn and ketu and ketu has a tendency to give results of the planets which he is conjunct okay rahu ketu also gives results of the planets which they are conjunct with so that means ketu will also give the results of jupiter and saturn till 25th january next year because after that saturn will move to capricorn so after january next year ketu will only give the results of jupiter because it will only be conjunct jupiter for the rest of the year all right but till january it will give both the results of jupiter and saturn and finally as usual during mid of uh, may almost jupiter will again enter uh, capricorn i mean it will be retrograde it will enter capricorn before itself and it will go retrograde into purvashada nakshatra and from purvashada it will again start going direct somewhere around september next year okay so now when i share the slide uh, the ppt you will see the exact dates when this retrogression will happen and for most of the time of the next year 2020 jupiter will continue to remain in purvashada nakshatra so purvashada is a very important nakshatra for all of us the next year okay and therefore it is also important to check venus because venus is the lord of purvashada nakshatra all right so now 
I will share my screen and you'll be able to see the dates and for all the signs, okay? So I hope you can see my screen now and I will put this in zoom mode. So this is a small slide which I have made and here you can see the transit dates below. So the dates for Mula Nakshatra is from 5th November this year, which means as soon as it begins, till 4th January of next year. Then on 4th it will enter Purva Shada and then it enters Uttara Shada and goes retrograde and again it finally crosses Purva Shada on 30th October 2020. And it enters finally Uttarashada again after retrogression on 30th October and then it stays there and continues its journey. And then later on it enters Capricorn. And the retrogression dates are from 14th May of 2020 to 13th September 2020. So during this time Jupiter will cross Sagittarius and enter Capricorn in Uttara Shada Nakshatra and go stationary and then retrograde and it comes back to Purva Shada Nakshatra and then again it starts moving direct and finally on 13 September the direct motion starts very fast okay and there you go now we shall start with the zodiac signs the ascendance and as I said you can also check for your moon sign all right, so let's start talking about Aries. So for Aries ascendance, as you can see there, Jupiter is the Lord of the ninth and the 12th houses. All right, so depending on the Dasha, if your Dasha is associated with the fourth house or the fifth house or the ninth house or the third house at times also, then it could be that you go to a different country for a higher education or you go to a different state for some uh, higher specialization because Jupiter will transit in your ninth house. The ninth Lord will transit in its own house. Okay, So therefore, this can open up new avenues for education, long distance travel, uh, traveling to spiritual communities, traveling to monasteries, traveling to secluded places. And from the ninth house, as you can see in this column, it will aspect the third house because Jupiter aspects the fifth, seventh and the ninth from wherever it sits. So Jupiter will aspect the third house, the ascendant and also the fifth house. Okay, so Jupiter is transiting in your trines, which is the first, fifth, and ninth. So, ninth house is the most strongest of all the trines. So, uh, this is a rare transit which will happen only once in 12 years for the Aries ascendant. So, please utilize this time properly because this time, the, during this time, you can uh, try to pursue some higher education. If you have, if you are planning to do bachelor's, then you can do. If you're planning to do masters, then you can do that. And if you're planning to uh, do PhD, then you can do that. If you're planning to do postdoc, that also you can do. If you are planning to do some courses parallelly, side by side with your existing career, your job, then that is also something which you can do. That will also benefit you largely. And also you can take a trip to some foreign land you could uh, meet some guru in some foreign place that could happen. Uh, that guru could be from a different uh, origin, different ethnic background. That could happen. And it will aspect the third house, which means it can, uh, it can make you meet uh, new people, especially new acquaintances with whom you can uh, discuss spiritual topics, discuss higher philosophical topics and get broader aspects of life into your consciousness and it also aspects the lagna which means you will feel more positive inside and you will ultimately feel that you need to improve yourself and you will able to you will be able to improve yourself okay 
and it also aspects the fifth house which means if your dasha is permitting that uh, there is some kind of a love affair or roman romantic relationship then it could also happen that you encounter somebody okay and get into a relationship with and if you are married and if you are planning to have children if your dasha is one may promising that if your dasha is related to the second house fifth house or the ninth house or the eleventh house then it could happen that you end up having children okay because the fifth house is the house of children and this is a very important transit for the fifth house also because it aspects the fifth house but primarily it is the lord of the ninth and twelfth and placed in the ninth so foreign travel is highly indicated here and ninth house is the house of higher education so for aries the best time to find spirituality if you are into a spiritual path then continue it try to improve your so philosophical disposition try to gain more knowledge about your spiritual path or any educational sector you are in and ninth house is also the house of teaching so if uh, especially the third house deals with uh, teaching verbally okay and ninth house deals with you know, guiding people in general so this could also be a time if your dasha is uh, indicating the 10th house especially then it could happen that uh, you get uh, you get a chance to teach others okay so this is also a very good time if you want to write a book and publish it because jupiter aspects the third house and third house specifically has to do with writing so if you have a lot of knowledge and you can also share stuff in youtube like many people do these days including myself <laughs> and you can also uh, do find different avenues for the third house like you know audio books and writing books or you can try out in amazon and in general third house will give you skills related to communication communicating with others okay so for those who are into teaching and journalism this is a fantastic time and ultimately the fifth house as i said is the house of children also is the house of creativity so now is the time that you become more creative and you improve your disposition towards life in general because it also aspects the lagna okay so whenever jupiter aspects the lagna or transits the lagna you feel as if the blessings of god has come upon you all right so this is a very important transit for aries so finally we will move to taurus ascendance now so for taurus ascendance jupiter rules your 8th house and your 11th house and he will transit in your 8th house and he will aspect the second house the fourth house and the 12th house so jupiter as the lord of the 8th and 11th transiting the 8th house can give you sudden gains if your dasha is in the, now uh, the gains can be of different nature so whatever your dasha is indicating that could be the nature of the gains okay so for example if your dasha planet or the, the, the dasha lord is signifying uh seventh house then it could happen that uh you are getting gains through your partner your husband or your wife your spouse if it is indicating fifth house then it could happen you are getting uh gains through your children or fourth house the mother so anything can happen depending on your dasha okay and eighth house specifically represents the unearned money so it could happen that uh, there was some insurance in your i mean if the ninth house is involved then your father okay so maybe your father had done some uh, investing somewhere 20 years back when you were born and now you can reap the benefits of that money okay this could happen and it could happen if the 11th house the dasha is going on then your friends could help you your friends could uh, help you in getting some business deals business partnerships and from there it aspects the second house so now from the 8th house when it aspects the second house it's a beautiful time to cultivate longing for your family so second house is the family ultimately okay so second house is very important if 
you want to maintain connections with your family members or start new connections so if your dasha is indicating uh, marriage houses like second seventh and eleventh then you could also get married during this time okay and from there it aspects the fourth house so if the dasha is indicating the fourth house then you can also buy some property or buy a car especially if the planets are like venus or the planets are conjunct venus i mean the dasha lords then you could also end up buying property uh, specifically cars i mean to say and if the planets are mars and saturn then it is specifically property okay and if jupiter is also aspecting those planets in your original birth chart then it could happen that you are buying a very luxurious property in a posh area or if jupiter is aspecting venus and your venus mahadasha antardasha is running then it could happen you buy a very luxury car big luxury car a very luxurious car okay and fourth house is getting the aspect of jupiter here so in general it's a very good time to spend time at your home and if you have some plans to do investments in real estate then this is a very good time if your dasha is indicating the money houses for example the six, second sixth tenth and eleventh then it's a fantastic time to uh, jump into real estate and you can also try to gain some property in foreign lands because jupiter from the eighth aspects the 12th house okay 12th house is the house of foreign lands and ultimately because it is placed in the eighth house so therefore it is the house of occult knowledge it's the house of hidden knowledge so this could be a very good time where you try to gain uh, more knowledge on topics like astrology or numerology or astronomy or any hidden scientific thing okay it can be religious and spiritual also anything which is hidden or if you are interested in conspiracy theories then maybe you can go and check conspiracy theories okay although i don't recommend doing that but this is how jupiter will behave in your chart okay so depending on the dasha you will be able to see the results and primarily now eighth house is the house of transformation so therefore now is the time that using spiritual knowledge using hidden knowledge using the knowledge of the divine you can transform yourself okay and especially eighth house is also the house of your purity so now is a very important time where we make sure that we have good food habits okay so jupiter also aspects the second house so this can make you too much uh, interested in sweets sometimes okay so that could create some problem in your body so even if you indulge in eating sweets then uh, do it in limit not that you are just uh, going on eating for the whole year without any restriction and uh, it could also happen that because eighth house has to do with cleansing of the body so now if you have any plans to do some uh, health checkup then it's a very good time and especially uh, if you are having uh, problems with your bowels especially constipation etc then it's a good time to get some checkup okay because eighth house de deals with cleansing of the body so or if you are planning to do some detox or anything like that then it's a very good time so utilize this and purify yourself and you can also chant uh, some mantras it's uh, very much recommended in this regard okay so now let us move to Gemini Ascendants. So for Gemini Ascendants, Jupiter is the Lord of the 7th and the 10th house and it is placed, it is transiting in the 7th house now. And from the 7th it aspects the Lagna, the 3rd and the 11th. Okay. So all the Kama houses are getting activated, 3, 7 and 11, including the Lagna. So now Jupiter is the Lord of the seventh. So it is very clear that if you are running the Dasha of the second, seventh or the eleventh houses or either of these uh, one, then uh, you could get married during this time. It's highly possible. It's quite possible actually. I have seen many people getting married 
when Jupiter transits the seventh, provided the Dasha Lords are signifying the second, seventh, and eleventh houses. Okay. And uh, if you are planning to do some business partnerships, you can also do that because seventh house also deals with business partnerships. Okay. So in your horoscope, if you have the seventh and the tenth or the seventh and the sixth linked in some way. So for example, if you have your seventh lord in the sixth or sixth lord in the seventh or seventh lord in the tenth or tenth lord in the seventh if these kind of things are there then uh, it could happen that you end up getting into some business partnerships because uh, now jupiter also lords the tenth house okay so tenth lord transiting the seventh which is also its own house okay so it's a very good time for business partnerships and depending on the uh, planets which are indicating business partnerships in your dasha, you will uh, see what kind of business partnerships you can go into or what kind of marriage proposals you might get. Okay. So, for example, if in your board chart Saturn is sitting in uh, Gemini, okay, so not Gemini, sorry, in Sagittarius, which means for a Gemini rising, if Saturn is sitting in the seventh house and if you're running the dasha of Saturn, then it would happen that you get marriage proposals if you are not married and if you are of a marriageable age and then it could happen that uh, because this transit of jupiter is also happening in the seventh you get married uh, and the nature of the partner will uh, be a bit saturnian which means the person could be a bit serious or elder to you in age or it could happen the person is from a different community or different uh, uh, religion that could also happen especially if Rahu and Ketu are involved okay and in general it is aspecting your Lagna so this means that you will become very much optimistic about the seventh house from the Lagna okay because from the seventh it is throwing optimism to to your ascendant okay so it's like saying other people which is the seventh house everybody else they will give you optimism okay they will make you feel that uh, you can do better things in life you can achieve more you can do more you can become a better person so especially for gemini people because Jupiter also aspects the third and the eleventh to so all the kama houses so therefore it is highly essential that uh, we go out and meet people we try to socialize especially eleventh house is the house of networks gains so if your dasha is indicating the 11th house, then you can get a big promotion during this time, especially if the 10th house is also involved in your dasha, then you could end up getting a big promotion that could happen specifically. Okay. And because it is also affecting, uh, aspecting your third house, this could mean that you get money through writing books. So if your dasha is indicating third house or mercury, okay or if it is venus then you could uh, do stuff in youtube venus controls youtube and you could also travel with your friends because 11th house is friends and third house is travel so when both of them combine then it's a very good time to travel and explore other places places where you have not gone okay these kind of things could be done during this transit and apart from that primarily as i said we need to focus on business partnerships and especially if you are already married and if you are having some problems in your marriage if you are feeling that your marriage is not working or if you are feeling that you need to improve your marriage then now is a great time for the next one year 2020 that we specifically work on our marriage because this transit of jupiter into your seventh house if you are already married will again happen after 12 years okay so therefore this transit will give you a lot of positivity and jupiter is the significator of all the good qualities okay so therefore now is the time that you can focus on seeing the good in the other people okay so for example if you're married specifically then uh, everybody has faults and flaws you know? so now is the time that we try to forgive others for whatever wrong they have done to us and also ask forgiveness from others for the wrong that we have done to them okay so therefore this is a good time to work on your marriage and if you already have an existing business partnership now is the time that uh, you try to 
expand your horizon expand your business partnership okay and the nature of the planets as i said will give you the uh, nature of the partnership so if it is a female planet like moon or venus and if you're a man it would happen that you can also enter into a business partnership with a with a woman with a girl with a lady that can also happen and if you are a lady then it could happen that she's also another lady or maybe she could be your sister okay these kind of things would happen if jupiter is your dasha planet so then it could happen that you enter into a partnership with some of your seniors okay so depending on the dasha planets and the nature of the planets it will tell you what is happening and to what extent you will be successful all right so finally now let's go to cancer ascendance so for cancer jupiter is the lord of the sixth and the ninth and it is transiting in your sixth house and from the sixth it will aspect the twelfth and the second and the tenth house okay these three houses so now for cancer sixth lord and ninth lord so sixth lord specifically has to deal with your health okay so the transit is also happening in the sixth house so now you need to focus on your health and sixth house has to do with your daily routine and ninth house is the house of spirituality so now is the time if you want to include some daily spiritual practices into your life or anything like yoga or going to the gym or doing exercise or turning into a uh, different uh, methodologies for recovering or improving your health then this is a very good time okay so if the dasha planets are also indicating the ascendant or the fifth or the sixth or the ninth or the eleventh houses then you can find cure for your disease effortlessly okay so for example if uh, and it will also depend on the nature of the planet so if saturn is your dasha planet then it could happen that uh, you are going towards the traditional medicines like you know ayurveda or to some extent if moon is involved then you could try homeopathy and if sun is involved you can try allopathy if mars is involved you can try surgeries and now is the time that you can focus on being disciplined okay and if you are if your dasha planets are signifying the second sixth tenth and eleventh houses then now is the time that you can get a job if you are studying if you are into education you know now is the time you might find a job and if you are already having a job because jupiter is aspecting your uh, second house of money sanchit dhan as they call it your accumulated wealth the tenth house also from the sixth so two six ten all the artha houses are getting activated so that can give you a promotion that can give you some name fame status and depending on the planet it will be finalized uh, what kind of name and fame you might get depending on the dasha planets okay so for example if your sun or moon antar dasha or mahadasha is running you could try to get a government job okay if it is jupiter or mercury or venus you might try to get a job in a mnc you know big corporate company that would be a possibility and if you are uh, having planets like saturn or rahu or ketu it could be a startup or a new place okay where there are new people where everybody is trying to learn new things okay so these the, these uh, the dasha planets will modify the results of this transit and by that because the Artha houses two, six, and ten are getting activated. So now new, new avenue, new avenues for financial income will also come. So specifically, if you are running Jupiter or Mercury's Mahadasha, Antardasha, then multiple sources of income can come. Okay. So for uh, these two planets, Jupiter and Mercury, because they are dual planets, so Jupiter and Mercury's dashas. If indicating the finance houses like two, six, ten, and eleven can give you multiple. So Jupiter can give you two, and Mercury can give you even more than two. Okay, so maybe you are uh, a teacher and you 
you, you are teaching in a college but maybe now you are also teaching online maybe you are doing something in youtube or udemy or coursera anything can happen okay so that's how you can utilize this and if your dasha is indicating the 11th house the dasha lord then you might get some big recognition because sixth house is the house of competition also so you can get prize money you can have success in competitions depending on your dasha whatever your dasha lord is signifying and now is the time if your dasha is of sun and moon and it is signifying the 11th house then you might uh, end up getting a big government uh, prize or you know, a big promotion in some government institution or some money also you can get from the government okay these kind of things could be there and as i said if it is jupiter mercury and venus then it could be a big recognition from a corporate company and because the 12th house is also involved so jupiter from the 6th is aspecting the 12th house okay so now is the time that you put a eye on your expenses so now is the time that you try to see which are the areas that you are uh, spending too much money on okay so now is the time that you try to see where you can invest your money properly and when i say investment i don't mean some uh, physical uh, some banking or some schemes or mutual funds or shares i don't mean that i mean to say that which are the areas in your life where you should invest your money okay because unless you don't take care of the expenses you don't know how much money you have left with you because you may earn a million dollars but if you are spending you know 90% of that then hardly you have you know 0.1 million dollars left with you so of course now you may say that's also very big money but it's quite less compared to the money which you are earning so therefore now you need to check that okay i have 24 hours i need to devote 7 hours or 6 hours or 8 hours to my sleep then 8 to 10 hours to my job then to my family okay because if you are uh, having wasteful expenditure in any area of your life it will also reflect in other areas okay so therefore uh, now is the time that you need to uh, stop unnecessary expenditure okay and uh, some small things you could do so for example uh, not uh, wasting food that is one thing which you can do because if you are wasting food you are essentially wasting the second house which is the house of money okay so that's the crux for cancer it is health and being disciplined being competitive six thousand competition also so as i said if your dasha planets are indicating the 10th or the 11th you can have great success so if you are in india and if you're planning to give uh, the upsc exam uh, ias or ips anything of that sort now is the time that you can give it okay if your dasha is indicating the 10th and the 11th and sun and moon is involved by transit or by mutual aspect or by conjunction then it could happen that you get the job which you want okay now let us go to leo lagna leo ascendance jupiter is the fifth lord and it is the eighth lord and it is transiting in your fifth house and from there it aspects the lagna the ninth and the eleventh beautiful placements this is one of the best placements after aries i have seen <laughs> So Leo ascendance, what's the fifth house? Fifth house is the house of creativity, it's the house of romance, it's the house of love, it's the house of fun, it's the house of all the uh, stuff related to intellect is there in the fifth house, okay? So now is the time you could learn a new skill. Now is the time you can start learning the harmonium or you can start learning playing the flute or now is the time that you try to learn certain mantras okay so for example you could chant some mantras in the morning every day and in the evening also you could chant mantras because fifth house is the house of mantra as we all know and apart from that it is also the lord of the eighth house okay so eighth house has to deal with our inner transformation so it could happen that now you have some inner transformation through your creativity it can happen that you go to join some uh, club where you are learning dancing or singing or 
anything cooking also okay and it could happen that you become a different person people say that oh you are not the person the one you are now you you are a different person okay so it could happen that you change your career stream or you change anything in your life because eighth house deals with change okay and as if your dasha lord is indicating the second fifth ninth or the eleventh house then now is the time that you could have birth of children in your home and if your dasha lords are indicating the eighth house or the twelfth house then it could happen that uh, you can get into a relationship with somebody or you find somebody uh, and you might feel attracted to them and if your dasha lords are indicating the second seventh and eleventh and if you are already in a relationship with somebody now is the time that you might also get married because jupiter from the fifth aspect is the eleventh house okay so therefore now jupiter is aspecting your 11th house which is the house of network circles and gains and other people so it's a very important time where we try to focus on the network circles that we have okay we try to get gains from the network circles get gains does not mean in a mundane materialistic sense that you know trying to be business minded of course there is nothing wrong with that but when i say try to gain from them i mean to say that trying to learn from them trying to improve ourselves trying to make ourselves a better person by the association so now is a great time that you can join some uh, club intellectual club now is the time that you can join some spiritual community it is a very good time because jupiter also aspects your ninth house okay so when jupiter aspects the ninth it's a very important time for finding higher truths of life like spirituality and specifically finding a guru and if you are already having a guru or you if you are aspiring to get initiated or diksha from somebody then because fifth house is the house of mantra and diksha now is the time that you might uh, get diksha from that guru okay so it's a very important time use it properly and you'll be benefited and regarding love affair i already said and depending on the planets it will be decided uh, what kind of the person will that be okay so for example if now uh, it is venus then uh, the person could look very attractive or could dress in a very attractive way uh, at times a bit sensual also and if it's mercury then the person could be very talkative or into communication and if it is jupiter the person could be a very good guide and if it is saturn the person could be elder to you in age and if it is rahu and ketu uh, they could be a bit unpredictable and they could be from a different uh, caste creed community or religion also at times or from a different locality and uh, if they are if moon is your the sub planet then the person can be very emotional so uh, depending on your dasha you will meet people and you might get attracted to them okay so whatever your dasha is indicating fifth house if it is connected to the second fifth ninth and 11th then it is children if it's the eighth or the 12th then it's affairs physical relations if it is second seventh and 11th then marriage or if it is linked with the fourth and ninth then it is the house of education and learning and intelligence okay and if creativity uh, and it is also the house of creativity so try to join some new club where you can pursue your creative interests okay and ultimately fifth house is also the house of your passion and because jupiter aspects the lagna from the fifth now you will feel that you are becoming a better person day by day from the creative stuff that you are doing because jupiter is aspecting the lagna from the fifth house so the initiation is the fifth house okay so therefore from the fifth house when you activate the fifth house when you do activities related to the fifth house which is what you love and for that you also have to see the navamsha chart what the navamsha chart is telling and depending on the planets in the trines of the navamsha you can 
maybe uh, follow certain uh, creative paths okay and depending on the dasha planets also so this is how you will know what will happen for leo ascendants now let us go to virgo ascendants so for virgo ascendants jupiter is the lord of the fourth house and it is the lord of the seventh house okay and therefore for these two jupiter will transit in the fourth house and from the fourth it will aspect the uh, eighth house then it will also aspect the 10th house and it will also aspect the 12th house okay so for virgo people the highlight is the fourth house and the seventh house which means your home your property your land your real estate and your marriage of course so if your dasha lords are indicating the second seventh and eleventh houses okay so then you might get married if you are unmarried and if you are of marriage of age and if you are uh, of a particular age where you are married then you can also buy some property during this time okay so for virgo this is a very good time to buy property if your dasha lords are specifically mars and saturn or your dasha lords are conjunct mars and saturn or either of them or it is being aspected by mars or saturn then also you can buy property okay and if your dasha lords are venus and venus is signifying the fourth or the 11th or the 12th then you can also buy a vehicle and if your jupiter is aspecting this venus in your birth chart then it will be a very luxurious vehicle and apart from that if your sixth house or the tenth house is signified by the dasha planets then you can also uh, go for rental income you can uh, rent your property or your vehicle if it's venus so opportunities for rental income investments in real estate if all your money houses are getting active like second sixth tenth and eleventh in your dashas then you can also uh, do some big investment in real estate and you can earn quite a bit okay that is also possible and apart from that jupiter aspects your eighth your tenth and the twelfth so because jupiter aspects your tenth house then it therefore it's a very good time to look for promotions if your the sub planets are indicating the 10th house then you will definitely get a promotion during this time without a doubt i can say that and apart from that you can also learn hidden stuff because jupiter aspects the eighth house so this will make you interested in hidden knowledge especially if you are planning to do some course on astrology you can do that or if you're planning to learn numerology or tarot that is also something which you can do and it also aspects the 12th house so if you're planning to take a trip abroad or if you're already abroad and if you are planning to buy some property in you know, some foreign lands then this is a very good time you can do that so if your dasha planets are indicating uh, the fifth house sometimes then uh, it could also happen that uh, you uh, get into a relationship with somebody okay because the 12th house has to do with affairs and uh, relationships uh, physical relations specifically and the uh, nature of the planets will tell you what kind of people you might end up getting into a relationship with and 12th house because now it is connected to the 8th house not the 5th house so this could make you more spiritual and this could make you more interested in uh, hidden knowledge occult okay so now is the time that uh, you really start chanting some mantras and uh, you can do some focus on certain uh, practices like ashtang yoga is a very good option for the virgo lagna people so you can do ashtang yoga you can do surya namaskar these kind of things will greatly benefit you these kind of things will greatly empower you to do big things in life which normally you might have not been able to do so once you start doing these then you will learn that it's very potent to be spiritually connected okay and because the fourth house is primarily involved so if you are of the age like for example 
uh, 15 or 16 and this is a good time to start your bachelor studies okay and if there are planets like mercury and jupiter in your dasha specifically then it is further more a very good time to start your education and fourth house also deals with your uh, school or primary education and also it can deal with any kind of learning so any kind of learning uh, for your career matters so if you're planning to shift your domain altogether because the 10th house is also involved that is something you can do and if your dasha planets are indicating the 10th house then you will definitely uh, make a shift from your existing career domain and you might also get a big big job a new job okay well, it's like a dream job you might get so these things could be there if you focus on your education so you might have to uh, work for some time during the weekends you might have to uh, learn more technologies learn new technologies and because it aspects the 12th you also need to take care of uh, your expenses so now you can take a pen and a paper and write down every day okay i have uh, given 10 euros 100 rupees or 1000 usd today tomorrow i will give this much so make a list and by the end of the month you know this much is my spending and this much was my income so this much is my savings okay so keep an eye on your savings and your expenses and your income of course okay so this is it for Virgo rising marriage is on cards if you are unmarried and purchase of property or vehicles and traveling abroad and success in career and issues related to occult and higher knowledge so these are the things that are on cards for world book all right so now we will go to libra ascendance and i will start my screen share again okay so this is for libra ascendance now so for libra ascendance jupiter rules the third and the sixth and jupiter is transiting in the third and it will aspect the seventh the ninth and the eleventh so for libra ascendance the third house and sixth house is involved so third house specifically deals with your communication so if you have any plans to write a book then now is the best time to write a book why do i say book because you can launch it in amazon because the sixth house is also involved now okay so you can get money from writing a book or you can open a youtube channel or you can monetize your services and apart from that because it is transiting in your third house this will open up newer and newer avenues for sharing your knowledge because third house is originally the house where we share our existing knowledge with somebody okay it is primarily the house where we teach something to somebody so the third house is very important now so now in one word for libra ascendance is the time that we share our wisdom with others and we can also learn from others and depending on the type of the planets which dashas you are running they will modify the results and because jupiter also aspects the seventh house so if your uh, planets are signifying the second seventh and eleventh these houses then you could get married that is a possibility and it also aspects the ninth house so if you are planning to go and join some spiritual community then now is the best time that you can do that if you're planning to go for some higher education now is also a very good time for that if you are having a bachelor's and you want to go for phd then it's a very good time and apart from that if you are already having a phd and you want to do postdoc then it's a very good time and if your the sub planets are indicating the 10th house then it could happen that uh, you are getting some big recognition in your uh, career field or your field of learning because Jupiter in the 3 9 axis can give you stuff related to uh, learning. And if you have 
the idea of publishing any paper so if you are doing your phd and if you want to publish papers then now is the best time that you can do that why do i say that because third house deals with publishing publications okay publishing anything so if you want to go to some international conference and submit your journals or anything of that sort if you want to uh, get patents for your services then this is the best time to do that you will not find a better time than now so depending on your dashas it will be clear how your third house will function okay so for example if your ninth lord or twelfth lord's dasha is running and then jupiter is transiting for you in your third house then what could happen is that you can go to a foreign land because the houses 3 9 and 12 they all deal with foreign lands okay and then you can get some recognition there so you can publish your paper there in a foreign country okay and because the ninth house is also involved with the eleventh house, therefore the gains can also come from your gurus, your teachers. So now is the time that you have good relationship with your boss, with your uh, supervisor, with your seniors, any senior who is there in your domain. So please maintain good relationship with them. And by that you will see that lots and lots of gains are coming to your life. Okay. And if the Dasha planets are indicating the 10th and the 11th houses, then specifically you will have huge gains in life. Okay. And if the 6th house is also involved with the 10th and the 11th, then you can get some prize also for that. Okay. Prize money could also be there and you can get some awards also if Jupiter and Venus are associating. All right. So whatever your Dasha is indicating, apart from that you see this transit so for example now jupiter also is the lord of the sixth house okay so now is the time that you start focusing on your health also okay so because the 11th house is also involved and in your dashas if the lagna lord is involved your ascendant lord of your birth chart then now is the time that you really start focusing on your health because the ascendant and sixth whenever they are combined they show focus on our health okay so now we focus on our health and depending on the planets uh, the type of the planets we can uh, find out different ways to focus on our health so for example if you are having some health issues then if you are running the dasha of saturn you can take help from ayurvedic experts if you are running the dasha of moon then you could try homeopathy if it's sun you could try allopathy and if it is mars and ketu then there could be some there could be a need of some surgeries okay so these kind of things could happen and if uh, the fifth house and the ninth house is involved in your dashas then you will definitely find cure for your disease okay and sixth house is also the house of discipline so now is the time that we work in a committed manner in a committed fashion and towards every area of your life and as i said in the beginning because the seventh house is also being aspected by jupiter so if you're uh, if you are of a marriageable age then this could be a time that you get married if the dasha lords are signifying the marriage houses 2 7 11 and the nature of the planet will tell you the kind of uh, people who you might get married to okay so if it is sun you might get married to somebody who is linked to government or is a bit authoritarian or has a lot of name fame status if it is moon the person could be a bit uh, reserved and a bit introvert okay and would like to stay in the home and if it is venus the person would love to dress attractively mercury then could be very talkative jupiter then the person could be a very good guide all right and if it is saturn then could be elder to you in age so these are the areas where libras should focus all right so now let us go to scorpio lagna people so scorpio lagna people guru is currently transiting in your lagna and from 5th november it is going to enter your second house and it is also the lord of the fifth okay and it is also the second lord and from there it will aspect the sixth eighth and the tenth these three houses 
so for scorpio ascendants issues related to family and finances will be the most important okay and children also so now if you are married and if you want to have children this is the best time because the uh, two houses which denote childbirth are getting activated simultaneously okay so second and the fifth so if your dasha is of jupiter or uh, any planet which is sitting in the second fifth ninth or eleventh then you might get uh, children also okay who knows and if you are single and if you want to get married then now is a very good time if your dashas are indicating the marriage houses like second seventh and eleventh then you could also get married and the nature of the person will be decided on the nature of the planet so for example if uh, your seventh lord's dasha is running and uh, your jupiter as now he's transiting in your second house could give you marriage okay and for scorpio seventh lord is the uh, is venus so now it could happen that uh, you get married to somebody who is very much focused on their appearance or the way they dress or they may look very good and if it is jupiter then jupiter itself okay if your jupiter itself is the dasha lord then also you might get married because uh second house is also the house of marriage okay so the, this is how you know and if you already have children suppose then if you want another children then now is the time you can try for getting another child now is the time that you improve your relationships with your existing family members and your children so this is a great time to do that honestly and now is the time that you can incorporate your family and your children both of them together so if you are planning to uh, if you are in a nuclear family and if you have a joint family in your country in your home country or in your home state and if you are planning to go there and uh mix them together for some time if you want your children to experience the uh, culture of a joint family then now is the now is the best time for that okay and the fifth lord also gives creativity so creative avenues are on cards and because jupiter aspects the sixth house and the tenth so newer and newer ways and avenues of income will start coming because jupiter represents uh, multiplicity he is a dual planet like mercury okay jupiter and mercury and jupiter specifically represents two and mercury more than that so if your dasha lords are either jupiter or mercury and they are signifying the 10th house or the 11th or the 6th then you can get big promotions specifically and you can focus on your savings because second house as they say is the house of sanchit dhan okay accumulated wealth so it's a very important time for you because now you can try to diversify your uh, streams of income multiple sources of income okay and because jupiter primarily represents the finance sector so therefore it can happen that you are becoming more and more interested towards finance sectors and uh, moving into accounts or banking or business management these kind of areas so if you are planning to do mba this is the perfect time to do that uh, and if you are planning to do some course in financing or if you are planning to invest your money if you are planning to learn something on finances then now is also a very good time where you can do that okay and because jupiter also aspects the 8th house so now is the time that you will want to do research go into depth of things now is the time that you will want that whatever i do i do it completely i just don't do things half heartedly and you will want that i do it in a way that makes me a better person that transforms me from inside so if your dasha planets are indicating the 10th house and 8th house then it could happen that you have a transformation related to your career you might shift a domain and you might go to a different domain altogether these kind of things could happen and 
specifically because all the artha houses are getting active 2 6 and 10 so therefore now along with your family and children you need to focus on your finances okay and if you are uh, planning to start a family or if you are married then now is the time that you keep a reality check on your expenses so that you can have sufficient funds for your family and family members and your parents also at times because second house also denotes your parents and everybody who is a part of your family and to some extent people who are like your family is also uh, decided by the uh, second house okay all right so now for sagittarius rising sagittarius rising people jupiter is transiting your ascendant so jupiter lords the lagna and the fourth house for you it is transiting in your ascendant and from there it throws the classic aspects to the fifth seventh and ninth and needless to say it is like the blessings of God which is coming directly to your Lagna. Lagna is the intelligence, the word used is Dhimahi, Satyam Param Dhimahi, the Shimon Bhagavatam says. So now for Sagittarius Lagna people, now is the time that you improve your life in every aspect. So depending on which dashas you are running, it will be decided which is that area that you will improve okay so if you are uh, of a marriageable age and if your dasha lords are connected to the second seventh and the eleventh houses then you might also get married or if you are already married then it could happen that you improve your relationship with your spouse if there are some problems you try to work it out and if you are already having um, if you are already married and if you plan to have children and if your dasha lords are indicating the second fifth and the ninth and eleventh houses then it would happen that uh, you end up having children because jupiter from the lagna aspects your fifth and this is a very good time to get into avenues like uh, spirituality and education because jupiter is the natural karaka for spirituality and it also aspects the ninth house from the lagna as you know so therefore five and nine and the lagna all the three corners are getting activated so it is a fantastic time because your fourth lord is also jupiter and fourth house has to do with education so if you want to join some new school or do some course parallel to your job in the weekends this is the perfect time for that and depending on the dasha planets it will be de decided what you will end up doing ultimately. So if your dasha is indicating the 4th, 6th or the 11th houses, then uh, you can go for rental income, okay, property, etc., real estate. Or if the dasha lords are connected to the 4th, 9th, 5th uh, and 11th houses, then uh, you could go towards education. And in general, it is all auspiciousness which comes into your life. So now is the time that you try to become a better person because the lagna is your head, your intelligence. If your intelligence is going to the right direction, then everything in your life will be proper. If your intelligence is not proper, then externally things may be there or they may not be there, but you will not be able to enjoy them. Okay. So... Jupiter is the natural karaka for uh, being happy in life. It is the significator of happiness speci specifically. So therefore for Sagittarius rising, now is the time that you try to become a happy person from inside and not to be dependent on others. And you try to do those activities which make you happy from inside, from within. Okay, It could be anything. It could be singing. It could be dancing. It could be you know, writing a book anything whatever you want whatever your dasha is indicating that will be magnified 10 times because jupiter is in your lagna he is in your head okay so nothing much to speak for sagittarius it is a complete thumbs up as usual for the rising sign where jupiter transits and because it is jupiter's mool tricone sign so your lagna lord is returning to the lagna so very important 
here which happens you know once in 12 years okay so make yourself a better person invest your money properly because jupiter also is the karaka for investments and spend your money properly because jupiter shows donations so donate wherever you want to and whenever you can to whomever possible and also if you jupiter also is the natural guru so gurus will come to you now if your the shy is indicating the ninth house and the 11th or the 12th then gurus will come they will walk to you and they will come into your life okay so all the natural karakas for jupiter karakatvas like children family money gurus wealth name fame prosperity whatever your dasha is indicating all those things will happen during this transit okay so congratulations that your lagnesh is coming to your lagna it's a very important transit and please use this properly gain spiritual knowledge spiritual wisdom and by that uplift yourself because lagna is you yourself and your intelligence so if you are planning to go and uh, meet some guru this is the best time you can do that there is no better time than jupiter entering your lagna because now you don't have to do anything things will happen automatically okay and specifically the seventh house is also having the aspect of jupiter so if you have difficult relationships with anybody in life then just try to um, improve your relationship with anybody your senior your junior your equal your friend your husband your wife anybody that can be okay so all round thumbs up for sagittarius whatever the the dasha is indicating that will happen and make use of this time properly all right so congratulations to sagittarius now let us go to capricorn so capricorn lagna people for you jupiter is the lord of the third and the 12th and it is going to transit into your 12th house and from the 12th it will aspect the 4th 6th and the 8th all right so capricorn ascendance it is a very good time for you to meditate it is a very good time for you to look deep down inside of yourself because the third and the 12th houses are involved uh, together so if your dasha lord is indicating that uh, you have a foreign travel then you could also travel to foreign places and you can also get enlightenment there okay traveling to monasteries traveling to spiritual sanctuaries spiritual centers traveling to a pilgrimage okay visiting places like rishikesh haridwar banaras mathura vindavan these are the places that you can visit this will really enlighten you when jupiter transits the 12th house then what happens is we get a chance to look what is stopping us from achieving our highest potential inside okay so therefore now currently for the next two months till november jupiter is in your 11th house and then it will enter your 12th house okay so therefore it is a very important time to look deep down and do some homework inside okay so when jupiter was in your 11th and it is still in your 11th it gave you a lot of gains okay a lot of recognition so now you have to look uh, ahead and see what else do you need in life what else do you think will make you happy and from the 12th it aspects the 6th house so now is the time that you plan to see because it also aspects the 8th house okay so now is the time that if you are having any uh, addictions now is the time that you let go of those addictions you try to uh, arrange your life in a way that you can get rid of those addictions it could be anything or if there are some people in your life who you feel that they are not helping you to achieve your highest potential then now is the time that uh, you try to discuss with them that why they are behaving in certain ways and how you can improve your relationship with them okay 
and the third house specifically has to deal with your communication and because the sixth house is also involved so it could happen that you can also plan to do some business around the third house so writing books or doing things related to youtube so whatever your the sub planets are signifying if your the sub planets are signifying the third house and the ninth house then you could start your higher education okay because from the 12th jupiter also aspects the fourth house okay so for the uh, fourth house uh, there are many things so if your dasha planets are signifying uh, the fourth house and the 11th and the 12th then it could happen that uh, you end up buying a property specifically if mars and saturn are involved or if venus is involved it could happen that you end up buying a vehicle all right and uh, if the 8th house and the 11th house is involved you could win some lottery also okay if your dasha lords are indicating that so for capricorn it's a very good time to work on uh, the challenges which we have inside because the 12th the 6th and the 8th are the dusthana houses and when jupiter affects these houses we become naturally very positive and optimistic towards these houses and we feel as if we can work more we can do more related to these houses okay so anything that is uh, stopping your progress externally from inside now is the time that you work on it and now is the time that from there it is aspecting the sixth house so you be disciplined have a good lifestyle get up early in the morning do some exercise do some yoga chant some mantras read some uh, scripture scriptural books like the ramayana or the mahabharat or the bhagavad gita or shrimad bhagavatam and by that you will know that it's much easier to control yourself all right so spiritual practices will definitely help you in the long run and because the fourth house is involved so if the dasha lords are connected to jupiter mercury then now is the time that we uh, focus on uh, gaining education so if you are planning to do your bachelor's then you can do that or masters then that is also a possibility or phd also so for capricorn time to look back and see what jupiter gave you in the 11th and now try to look forward and get rid of those things which is not giving you fulfillment in the long run all right so now let's talk of aquarius so for aquarius jupiter is the lord of the second and the 11th and it is transiting in the 11th house aspecting the third fifth and the seventh houses so for aquarius thumbs up because this is a very rare transit of jupiter again once in 12 years which is happening in your 11th house so 11th house is the house of gains hopes wishes fulfillment of desires so whatever your dasha lords are indicating the desires related to those areas will be fulfilled all right so if you are of a marriageable age and if your dasha planets are indicating the second seventh and the 11th houses then now is the time that you might get married and the nature of the planets will tell you what kind of a person you might marry okay and because it is also aspecting the fifth house so fifth house is the house of creativity and children so if you are in the sub planets are signifying the fifth house second house ninth house and the 11th house then you could have children if you are married and it is also the house of creativity fifth house so if you are planning to join some club or some group because the 11th house where your jupiter is transiting it is the place where people do it together and aquarius is originally the 11th sign so the transit of jupiter in 11th house for you is as if you have become lively again okay because now you will get chance to socialize now you will get chance to uh, materialize your plan so 
if your dasha lords are indicating the 10th and the 11th houses then some massive huge name fame recognition massive things will happen and if jupiter venus is also involved then you can get some massive recognition massive prize massive awards all right if sun and moon then government awards these could be there so if you are uh, doing your masters or your phd and you want to take things towards completion then this is the best 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 time to do that there is no better time than this and if you are already having your uh, own work your own business then now is the time that you take the next step or if you are having a job and you want to start your own business your own work your own consulting now is the best time that you can try to do that because 11th house the house of networks gains and desires fulfillment of desires so this will again happen after 12 years so so please utilize this time and if the dasha planets are indicated uh, by uh, jupiter mercury especially then it can happen that multiple sources of income come for you okay and it can happen that uh, in, in the 11th house we do not go to others the other people come towards us and they say that oh we have this offer for you okay so if you are not having a job and, and your dasha is positive for job now then now is the time that you make the big shift okay so if you're already having a job now is the time you try for promotions and because it have aspects the seventh house also so now business business partnerships also could be one option okay and jupiter is also your second lord so second and the 11th and the seventh are getting active okay by lordships and by transit and by aspects so if you are unmarried marriage is fully on cards if your the lords are indicating marriage 100 percent it will happen okay and because the third house also has the aspect of jupiter so now you can also try for uh, sharing your information your your wisdom with others okay so if you want to open a channel in youtube and your the size indicating uh, indicated by venus or mercury this is the best time to do that okay and third house has to do with skills of hand so if you are planning to join some group for uh, learning music or anything of that sort which requires you to use your hands okay like playing the guitar or you know, harmonium or anything or playing the midangam anything traditional also then now is the best time that you can implement all of these and now is the time that you fulfill all your desires okay because jupiter in the 11th whatever the dasha indicates it is fulfillment of desire so congratulations and wish you all the best all right so now let us discuss the last as usual for pisces lagna pisces ascendance pisces lagna people jupiter is your lagna lord and your 10th lord and he's transiting in your 10th house and he's aspecting your second fourth and sixth all right this is a very interesting placement because all your artha houses are getting activated money so second sixth and tenth are getting active all right so because this is a transit of your lagna lord in the 10th house so now is the time that you start your own work all right so if you have plans to start your own business if your dasha lords are indicating the 10th and the 11th houses then now is the best time don't wait don't procrastinate don't panic don't think about anything else just start your work all right everything else will fall in place later but now you need to start your work your own work so if you are planning to have some business now is the time that you also get into some business some collaborations and you get newer and newer and newer and newer sources of revenue sources of income specifically because jupiter shows multiple sources of income just like mercury 
and if your dasha lords are connected to sun moon then you can get some big job or promotion from the government sector if you are already in government sector or if you are planning to give the upsc exam in india then this is a very good time to do that and because the fourth house is also involved by aspect from the 10th house and it is connected to the artha houses the second sixth and and the 10th so therefore real estate is another area where you can venture into all right so now is the time that you can try to get rental income you can uh, give an ad of your property these are the things which you can do all right and now is the time that if you have some uh, difficulties with your boss in your company you can try to improve your relationship with the boss because whenever jupiter transits the 10th house it's like opportunities come in that area all right and because it is your lagna lord himself so by that you will become a better person you will become a stronger person and you will become a much more happier person inside all right so anything you want to do in your career front just do it because it also aspects the second house all right so you might also think of your family sometimes uh and you might want to uh, save money for them also okay so if your dasha planets are indicating the second seventh and eleventh houses then you might also get married or if they are indicating the fifth house then you might also have a birth of child all right so for pisces also thumbs up just like for sagittarius and for aquarius for pisces also thumbs up it is transiting in your 10th house it is the most powerful of all the kendras in fact it is the most uh, potent and vibrant house of your chart and jupiter is transiting there so congratulations utilize this time do not waste this time do not gossip around don't just uh, keep seeing things here there in social media just be focused on your work and get things done get things through all right so this is how you can benefit from this transit of jupiter in your 10th house which will happen only once again in 12 years all right so there you go we end with pisces i will stop my screen share and that is it from my side i hope you liked your ascendance and you can also check from your moon sign as i already said and if you want a consultation from me then you can go down to the description section where you will find the link to my website all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him